Welcome back to Slovely Afternoon, let's play Yoshi's Island. For those of you who missed the last time, you uh, missed out on some high-flying athletics, some dungeon crawling, and a whole lot of botched Sonic jokes. <laughs> well, closing off World 3 now, we got a level coming up. It looks to be combining my least favorite enemy and least favorite set piece. Because it's the monkey's favorite lake, and we're about to crash the party. All the way up on the left here, we have... It looks to be a lookout, or maybe he's getting ready to take a dive. Hopefully he doesn't, because this water's only uh, a few feet deep. You still guys have the right idea, though. Not that it makes him any less... Uh, expendable. See ya. Too bad we can't hijack a pair of those stilts. That'd be uh, that'd make things a little easier. I don't even think about it, buddy. Off he goes. Let's use him to get this wing cloud. Yeah, and fail miserably at doing so. Come on, come on. Back here. This mud likes to make you uh, make your aim a little tough. It's almost like being on ice. We're still a ways off from finding ice itself, actually. Cheap cheap here, make sure it doesn't get in our way. Another cheap cheap. Food everywhere. Is this why it's the monkey's favorite lake? I mean, here we have a whole chain of them just uh, hanging around. I'm so sorry. Make sure you get the flower here without getting too close and letting them run off of baby Mario. Give them a wide berth. Continue to move this uh, would-be paddle wheel around. Eat the cheap cheap so they're not in your way. Up here? No, those coins are all yellow. And onward! We have a very uh, inconspicuous... No, that's not the word I'm looking for. Very conspicuous hidden wing cloud. With a pipe just over yonder. And we have another submarine section. Da -na 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 -na. Then downward here, we'll find this area is a little more straightforward than previous ones. Just keep heading forward, ducking in these little side areas to grab the coins within. Very simple. Remember, don't bother with the lock nester, just stay out of his way. Before you touch that Yoshi block, I know it's a little late for me to be saying this, but uh, make sure you have all four of those red coins. You should have five total. Because that wind cloud back in the main part of the level doesn't come back, so you have one chance to get those. Again, it's not all that difficult to make sure you get them all, just don't fail a spot check, please. Oh, and you can get up here. Not that there's really much you can do up here. Second section of the level already, we're making some progress. There you are, another monkey. And yes, that wing cloud did have only three stars, but once you get to this dry land, move fast so that fly guy can't fly off with that red coin. I can imagine it must be a real pain in the ass to be coming here, through here the first time in a while and to miss that. Let's get this crab out of our way. One, two, three. We seem to be absent some eggs. Let's use him. Pop this wing cloud to have it see that it was containing, fall onto that narrow spot of land just, of, just above the water surface, as you can see with the graphics here. Creating a sunflower that gets us this flower and egg block. I gotta wonder where those monkeys are getting those missiles. I mean, well, besides the obvious hammer space, where are they getting the missiles to put in hammer space? Well, life's great unanswered questions, I suppose. More stars? We're just doling them out right now. Can't say I mind. Grab him before he pulls another missile out of God knows where. Another crab? Ha <laughs> ha! Conserve some eggs. Onward? This guy's pulling cacti out. And actually, if you manage to eat the cactus before you can throw it, he'll stop throwing entirely and start running away from you. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. So, just out of view, in fact, so far out of view that you have to have it in view in order to activate it. There's a wind cloud up here that'll create another one of those giant sunflowers for us. And no, it's not just a stalk to nowhere, because if you jump up into the right, you have another one of those goddamn secret areas arbitrarily hidden in the trees. Green melon for you, but the monkeys drop down on you from above here, so be sure to give yourself, uh, be sure to. Be aware of them so they don't sneak up on you and steal baby Mario and do all that annoying stuff they usually do. Here we have an arrow made out of coins, including a red one. Stars in this one. An extra life in this. Let's double back to grab some of the rest of these coins. If you fall down at any point, well, I'll show you in a second here. Fall down. 
If you fall down at any point, you can just hover back to the left and end up back in the secret area. Useful if you didn't get everything the first time around. The monkeys will respawn, though, but so will the melons. Just, uh, keep, uh, just keep a spray of seeds in front of you at all times and you'll be fine. Alright, back down for real this time. Here's those fake flowers again. Here's a neat little trick. You notice how he's kind of spinning in the water real slowly? Well... Eh, didn't work that time. Alright, we'll get it to work. Don't worry, everyone. Let's get... No, let's... There we go. Let's have him roll down. And if we land it, if we aim it just right, let's try that again since Baby Mario got hit. Alright. Let's have the fake flower come down. Ah, well, uh... I'll, uh, go back and show that later, I suppose. Stars here. Heading up. You can actually get up there with enough momentum, and in fact... Get even higher, and look! Damn. Oh, you can actually get up on top of those posts. Uh, there's absolutely no reason to do so, except it's kind of cool, and it's a bit of a sequence break if you're speedrunning. Come on, who doesn't try to 100% this game? On this post down, to reveal some enemies and some uh, other goodies hidden within. Let's give the spirit guy some room to move so we can eat him. I'm such a nice person, aren't okay? I? Let him turn around. Take that flower out right from under his nose. I botched that. I botched that even worse. Come here. There we go. I just can't get these ground pounds right today. Yeesh. Right. The tongue trick. Got him. Now this is all the way down just for the hell of it. A new enemy here called Barney Bubble. What was that dev team thinking? Anyway, they can't hurt you, but if you jump on them... Come here! Come here, you... Easy. They speed bubbles every time you jump on them. Which you can, uh... Which you can use for various reasons, including monkey repellent. And in fact... <laughs> let it be known that my impressions are kind of, uh, hit and miss. Wait, did they jump into the water? Okay, this one's back anyway. That's right, get back! Get back! You guys, let's use these as a stepping stone to get up here. <laughs> stone, flint, stone, rubble. I'm sure there's a pun in there somewhere. There's nothing up here, and there's nothing over on the left here either. Oh, wait, there is! <laughs> I stand corrected! Let's pop this middle ring first. Thank God he didn't get plowed. Come here. Come here. Come here, here's a good little bubble monster thing. He's just staying away from me. Come on. Did I scroll him off, really? Ow, see, they can't hit you. This, <laughs> this level hates me. I swear this level hates me. Worth mentioning that this level is uh, among the few that I don't remember all that well compared to the rest. I'm not sure whether uh, my memory's just failing me a little or whether I've just repressed it. All right, bubble up here, wind cloud. A very predictable one up. Let's head on. So about that whole repression joke, uh, now you're about to see the real reason why I made it. That? It? I'm not sure what I went with there. More of those tipping platforms, but that's not the real problem. You see that ugly mug over there? That's a lunge fish. If you get close to the water, he lunges! Apologies in advance for anyone having boss bash flashbacks, because that thing could swallow you in one gulp. I don't get it. What is up with this world and things trying to eat us? Anyway, an egg stuns him for a while, fortunately. Also, uh, most fortunately, there's more than one of them. That's right. Get out of here, you know, dirt face. Let's sneak down here. There's more than just a red coin, though. There's a secret area. Well, not really secret, since you can see it. A conspicuous, but not exactly easy to reach area. With a flower, a minigame hut, and a key right next to it. How thoughtful of them. This game's another round of popping balloons. Let's see if I can do a little better this time. No? Come on. Oh, no, you don't! Ha-ha! <laughs> Take that, bandit. Alright, and a free 10. 
We can just head straight back up here and avoid the fake flowers. There's another one. Apparently they didn't just, uh, they must be indigenous to this part of the island or something. I see you glaring, lungefish. I see you too. Get out of here. Alright, you want to pound these bows down for a couple reasons. Be very careful here because that lungefish can actually grab you right off the land. Double especially because those slopes are muddy and, uh... I should mention that little spoilery thing I've just done twice now, shouldn't I? Yeah, so if you hit the if you hit the water with an egg at just the right angle, you can actually skip them across the water. It's not all that much of a spoiler though, as we'll see in a little while. That was the last of the red coins. We in fact have every flower. And now for the reason we pounded those posts down. And now for the reason we pounded those posts down. <laughs> a staircase that if we pounded those down will extend all the way to the left. And let us reach that cloud wedged in between the rocks. Hey, lunchfish, can't get me now. Can't get me now. <laughs> Stars? And we seem to be low on eggs. I don't have to brave this pain in the ass. And I'm not talking about the fake flower. To reach this egg block, make sure you're standing on the right side so the eggs fly to the left here. Almost fell. That was close. And now it's just the right amount of aim. You can shoot an egg straight up here. Always seems to only work the second time. But hey, a one up. And with a perfect score in tow. Hello, go ring! Come on, give me a bonus, give me a bonus. I haven't seen one in forever now. Come on, come on. Thank you! Ugh. 30, 20, 5, 100. Here we go! And we have the other bonus minigame available in World 3, Roulette. Set the number of extra lives to bet on with the control pad, press A to start and to stop. Combination of the two tumblers and the number of lives you bet give you one-ups. Of course, you can't play it if you only have one remaining. <laughs> Bad idea to bet that. So basically, you can choose how many extra lives to bet here. Let's just start with five. And by pressing A, you will make the spinning wheel stop spinning, landing you on either a plus sign or a multiplication sign. Come on. Ow! Well, that's the worst reward you can get, losing every single life you bet, but you can get, uh, as you can see, you can land on one, two, or three as well, and give you an additional one to three lives, or even multiply the lives you bet by up to three times. Of course, with my luck, what did you expect, right? <laughs> but here we are in World 3's castle, and for once, our world boss is a more conventional one. A piranha plant! And let's enter Naval Piranha's castle. Bit of soundtrack dissonance here. Don't let the bright sky and smiling hills fool you. Don't let them lull you into a false sense of security. There we go. Very cramped quarters, although I suppose a pipe-ish, maze-ish, sewer-ish castle is very befitting of a piranha plant. Here we have what is called a caged ghost, who uh, just kind of gets in your way and spits shy guys at you that conveniently give you ammo. How do you get rid of him? Back, I say! Back! Back, you- Ow! Oh. You ruined my damn lion tamer impersonation! You know that? There. Ha! <laughs> that's it. Back. Get back! Yeah, that's right. Okay, these things? Ugh, believe it or not, they're called- I kid you the not- I kid you the- <laughs> They're called Hooty the Bluefish. Uh, if you ask me, I kind of prefer the Japanese name, uh, Propeller Piranha. Or it's a little better, a little less of a groan-inducing pun. So anyway, we have a raven here. No real apparent reason for them to be there, but hey, free food. So, let's uh, stay in between these Propeller Piranhas here. Slowly work our way up. Here we have a yellow coin disguised as a red coin. Another yellow coin disguised as a red coin. And a red coin disguised as a red coin. Downward here, avoid the propeller piranhas there if you know what's good for you. Be careful here because that waterfall heavily restricts your ability to jump. It's almost like uh, having a lot of water dumped on you from above. <laughs> as you'd expect, well actually not as you'd expect, those coins are both yellow. And here we have a Lakitu camped out underwater. Yeah, what are the odds, right? Oh, him, I wouldn't really want to be stationed here though. All these man plants. But as the water carries us downward, duck, olay, duck again, 
and onward. Seems we're in a bit of a reservoir area here. Falling submarine right above the water. Could this mean? Try to throw an egg and an arrow, and hello! You can get the coins placed underneath! Yeah, it really wasn't much of a spoiler after all because. Oh, provided you got the proper angle here. Provided you have. There we go. You can skip an egg along the water surface to collect those items. You can get these coins directly, but let's use an egg. We'll skip on the surface of the water to get the coins. Hmm. Could we be seeing some classic Mario level design here? Teaching you a new concept in a boss level? What could this say about the boss? Things get a little trickier here because we have piranha plants guarding these items. <laughs> okay, uh, that works. Saying <laughs> it properly this time. Roses are red, violets are blue, never forget what I say to you. Timing is all, and aim must be true, measure the angle, and win do. Wow, painful rhyme is painful. Okay, let's get this piranha plant for real this time. Shut up. Shut up. You two message block, you shut up. And you, piranha plant, you definitely shut up. <laughs> oh, for the love of... It's a Let's Play curse, I swear. Okay, let's... Uh... I'm gonna go wipe the egg off my face real fast. Well, that was fast. Second section of the castle here, I suppose the third technically. Keep moving to the right immediately here so you don't fall into the propeller piranha's mouth. Jump here so you don't also fall. And also, this water is kind of fickle about letting you hover out of it. As soon as you jump, make sure you press B a second time in midair and make sure you can get out of the way. Let's vault over this one. And here we have the first middle ring of the level, and in fact, the only one. Yeah, this is the only castle level in the entire game with a single middle ring. But actually, we don't want to get it quite yet. Because there are a few more secrets to be grabbed before we save our progress in this level. Down and off to the left here. We have the return of nipper spores and nipper plants and those aqua lacketeers. Just use the nipper plants to take out the piranha plants. Matricide! I think. Anyway, ow! Yeah. 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 Here we have another propeller piranha. Attacking them only stuns them. The only way to take them out is by uh, pulling a red or blue melon out of your inventory. We have another caged ghost. Jeez, we gotta do this shtick again. Yeah. Look, I'm a ghost tamer. Four, five, six. See ya. Well, not see ya yet. Actually, we wanna grab a couple of shy guys here because we're gonna need some eggs coming up. Come on, anytime. time. One, two, three. Alright, I think four is enough. Honor, we have a little uh, stretch here with propeller piranhas everywhere. Make sure you bob and weave so you don't end up in one of their mouths. Grab the snipper, grab the snipper spore. Okay, take care not to hit your head there, because that can lead to some bad stuff. Shut up. And stars. And three red coins. Which were the main reason we came over here. We're gonna have him again. I feel like it was actually a bit of a trick to make sure uh, he doesn't get in your way as much. You notice how they grow out of the little caged area when you first get near them? Well, if you aim it, uh, if you set up an egg just right, let go of it right away, and that can happen. Send him back down into his cage before he can ever get big. Another one of those new techniques I didn't know existed until recently. Like I said, you learn something new every time you play this game. It's amazing. It's kind of a game that's aged very well. So we're back in the central chamber here. This time we're going to go up and to the right. Looks like this Petui Piranha is going to do their thing. Have to wait for an opening. There we are. More nipper spores here, just to get them out of your way. Interesting they're bringing those back from World 1 3, but again, they do make a level of sense here. Here we have a Petui Piranha. That one's only shooting one cactus at a time. I guess they're being a little forgiving in that regard. My aim kind of sucked there. But here we have the flower he was guarding. None of those coins are red, though. And now we can finally activate that middle ring. See you guys! <laughs> Alright, now let's go on to the bottom right, which is the actual way on. Another propeller piranha making it a little harder to take care of this cage ghost. 
Because that propeller parada is immediately in front of you, you can't do that trick from earlier on this one. Gotta take care of them the old-fashioned way. Well, you know, old compared to the fact that you just encountered them in this level. And since that piranha plant decided to park itself in a way, you gotta grab some ammo from this guy as well. Three, four, that's enough. Hello. And a hello bank shot. Onward, we have a piranha plant here in an area that you can't get to very easily. Turns out you have to bank shot an egg here, off the water. They really want to make sure you know how to do that, don't they? Here we have a patooey piranha, this one's spitting one cactus like the one up above. But the fact that he kind of raise, rises like that means he can clip you if you're that close, if you're too close to him on the platform. So, one, two, three, that one barely reached him. And in one fell swoop, we have the final flower and final red corn. Things are starting to wrap up here. And here we have a tulip to get those last remaining stars, but... I kind of missed out on the chance to show you a little trick in 3-5, so let's show that for real now. I owe it to you guys. Let's use a green melon. And if you aim it just right, you can activate these tulips with a C! That could be easier than I thought it would. Alright. Let's head onward. Back ourselves up to where the boss room is. <laughs> I'm God! Ooh, how about this? The more momentous of an intro, the water carries us down into the central chamber. Central most? Hmm. Regardless, we're real deep in the castle now. Water everywhere. We have a platform. And a piranha plant. Give it up, Yoshi, you... Um... Uh, uh, forget it. A little fun fact in the Game Boy Advance version of this game and all uh, subsequent ones, that little phrase is uh, changed to having them call Yoshi an egg throwing maniac. Makes a little more sense in the context, as you'll see shortly. Let the momentous intro and finally a proper world boss! Naval Piranha's main method of attack is to try and ram you with that big-ass hitbox of hers. You notice there's a very, very prominent belly button that makes no sense on a plant. She'll spew out uh, nipper spores occasionally, and if you let those fall and become nipper plants, they're your only source of ammo in this fight. They actually make you work for your eggs in this fight. And how do you hit that belly button down there, which is very clearly a weak point? If she'll uh, stop trying to hit me. And whoa! That's another thing! She can fake you out with the ramming attack sometimes! Be careful! But bounce an egg across here to deal a hit! They really were warming you up for a boss fight! Onward! This ballerina's rather small, but with so few attacks, Naval Piranha is rather predictable. That's a second hit. As you can see, it's kind of obvious that you're meant to hit that belly button down there, so, uh... But it might not be so obvious that you need to bounce an egg there. Well, if you're rather younger, I suppose. Or inexperienced. So, having kind of called Yoshi an egg-throwing maniac might, uh, give them the idea of using an egg. Helps a little better in context, and it's a little less awkward to say. And by the way, that naval bud they're sticking out doesn't protect it. Because, with just a third hit... Naval Piranha wilts away. And we're done here. I bet if I do say so myself, especially considering all the easy ways you can get hit. Double especially with all the monologuing I was doing. <laughs> 30, 20, 5, 100. And you know what that means. We have a perfect score for World 3. Which is going to give us, of course, an extra level and a bonus minigame. And back on the island view, at least this castle actually does vaguely resemble its counterpart on the, the map. Goodbye! And this jungle is finally Yoshi territory once more. Uh, how about that music, huh? It's really starting to pick up now. But before we go gawking at that, we have one more thing to check. Actually, two, in fact, because... 
There is actually an easter egg that involves killing this boss a little differently. See you on the way there. Alrighty, so... Those with a sharp eye may have noticed that... At the very beginning of the fight, Naval Piranha is in fact present. She just doesn't pop up until you get close enough. You also may have noticed that I had to get a little ways into the boss room before the walls to close and for the fight itself to start. So, if you get just close enough to get her within view without activating the beginning cutscene, if you aim an egg just right... Oh my! <laughs> and that's that! <laughs> Easiest boss fight in the game! And so I have one more thing to show, and that's World 3's bonus. This one should be very familiar because... It's drawing lots! Very simple, you can uh, get as many items as you want here essentially, although there's some luck involved. But it's actually a little better than the standard version of it because... Comic is only under one of the panels instead of half of them. So I think that about wraps things up here. Really digging that World 4 Remix of the World Map theme. But let's leave that for a little later, shall we? Next time on Let's Play Yoshi's Island, we begin our second half of our journey. See you then.